Hi, Stephen. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How about you? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you so much uh, for taking our call today. So I understand we have five minutes uh, uh, to uh, just uh, you know go over a little Q and A today. Sounds good. Okay, awesome. Well, I just introduced myself. You know, my name is Marvin Marshall uh, from the Nighttime News Space Report. Uh, you know, we, we host a uh, STEM show uh, here on Twitch.tv. Uh, you know, I got you know a bunch of people watching us right now, um, and uh, <laughs> it's uh, it, you know we, we really enjoyed you know getting to you know talk to you just a little bit ago. Um, and yeah, so you know just introduce myself there, and then for anybody who you know doesn't know, right now I'm joined uh, by NASA astronaut uh, Steve Steve. Bowen out here, who is the commander of the Crew 6 mission for SpaceX coming up here soon. Um, and now, uh, Steve, it would be okay if we did like a rapid fire Q&A session, like the first like, you know, maybe person or a couple words that come to your mind, you just, uh, you know, say that uh, as a response. <laughs> sure, we'll try that. Okay, awesome, awesome. We appreciate it. <laughs> awesome, thank you. Slow the day, my brain may be slow. No worries, take your time, no rush at all. Take, take your time, we'll, we'll get as many as we can. If you need to go, you just let me know, okay? All right. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay. So, uh, first one, uh, who's going to scream the loudest when you go, you know, out of everybody in the crew when you go? <laughs> who's going to scream? That's a good question. It won't be me. Um, it's, it's funny. On my first flight, I mean, on my second flight uh, on the audio, uh, I think it was a tie between the, the pilot and the commander, uh, between Tony Antonelli and Ken Ham, because they just were so excited once we got off the bat. So, That's I great. Will be, I will be watching. That's great. Now, have you ever played ping pong in space? No, I never played ping pong. I had no ping -pong. Uh, sort of like a node hockey game and uh, a couple other interesting, <laughs> fun activities on over but no ping pong. No ping pong. Uh, what's the first thing you're going to do when you get to the space station? Uh, when I first thing when I get to space station? Yes. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, I'll say hello to my friends on board. That'll be awesome. uh, the first thing we do, obviously. And uh, just really look at it because it's changed a bit since I've been there, but uh, yeah. sure a lot of it's still the same. Uh -huh. so, and what's your favorite food in microgravity? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> so we had a blackberry cobbler for Thanksgiving in 2008. That was Ooh, excellent. It might have just been wow. the, the timing of it. Um, <laughs> I do like the spaghetti. I'm not sure. I think they might have changed the menu on that one a little bit since oh, the last no. time I flew, but we'll see. I'll try, <laughs> I, I like all food, so I'll find a new favorite. All foods, I like it. Yeah, spaghetti sounds good. Now, does space really smell like cooked steak? No, not that I know of. Uh, <laughs> so I think what most people report of report as uh -huh. the uh, the smell of space is really oxidized aluminum. As far as I, you know, from my oh, experience, okay. I spent so much time in shipyards and. Uh, working on large steel vessels. That's what it reminded me of. Wow. Okay. Very interesting. Thank you. And now, do you sleep strapped to the wall or floating? <laughs> I have. I have been caught in the middle of the uh, uh, mid deck of the space shuttle, floating on my own. That's not where I was supposed <laughs> to sleep. So uh, wow. sleeping in space is very good for me. Uh, but I, I will be strapped to a wall someplace. That is awesome. All right, now, uh, chicken or carne asada tacos? Kind of random. <laughs> <laughs> I like them both. both? I'm fairly non-discriminatory on those. Fair enough. Now, do you think dogs, cows, cats, sheep, you know, other pets one day will end up in space? <laughs> well, somebody asked me that question earlier today since I have uh, currently have three pet dogs at home. Oh, wow. And I was joking that my, uh, my two-year-old sheep and doodle would be quite something to see in space. <laughs> um, that would be a gamely mess. So we'll see. Aww. Someday, yes. Yeah, someday we'll have pets in space. Awesome. Well, hopefully, I can't wait to see that. Now, uh, land animal or water animal? I think I might know what you're going to say here. Oh, for me, probably a water animal. Yeah, I'd imagine with the sub experience, you were going to say the water animal. Yeah, yeah, I like the ocean. Yeah, that that is awesome. Now, do you think aliens are real? Well, of course, it's you know, of the, course if you not. do the numbers, if you do the numbers about what we know about the universe, Fair it's uh, you know, it's inevitable. It's just out there. Very great answer. I don't think I've ever seen one. I don't think I've ever. Uh, had one come visit me, so that's a different question altogether. <laughs> yeah, great answer. What one famous person to be your first officer or pilot? You know, who, who's going with you? Oh, I have no idea. I don't think about famous people. I'm perfectly happy with the crew I got. Fair I enough. Have a fantastic crew. Bring them. Awesome. Great answer. The, the crew you got. I like that. Best answer. Uh, what, and uh, now, uh, you know, one final question here. You know, what is the best music for Earth viewing out of the cupola? Ah, 
uh, yes, I could imagine. <laughs> I, I am partial, so yeah, I've got a lot of music stories, but there's some. Uh, if you take Paul Winder's Icarus, which they actually named the crater uh, oh. for on the moon, and uh, just play that and uh, look at the sky someday, oh. you'll get a real appreciation of it. And I think that's the end of our questions. It is indeed. And and, and with that, you, will, you enjoy your ride on a Falcon 9, or, well, commanding a Falcon 9, and, uh, you know, and, and on Dragon there. And, uh, you know, enjoy your time in low Earth orbit. It was a pleasure to meet you. And I hope we get to, get to possibly speak with you uh, while, while you're up there. That would be fantastic. Have a good day. Well, th thank you again, Steve. We'll talk to you very soon. Enjoy your ride. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye.